Hi everyone. Um, so I pulled a few people that I was gonna do a video on um, bird gyms and clay gyms and stuff like that. Um, so I figured I'd finally get to that. Um, so today I'm just gonna go over a few ideas for what you can put on your play gym, what you can use with your play gym, or um, even just something for your birds to sit on when they're not inside the cage. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna show you um, is this. This is called an orbit. The chain comes saw. Um, a little pair hook here. Love these. Um, and it's also got a swivel on it so it'll turn without getting all, you know, knotted up. Um, there's a bell on the bottom, some chains on the top. Um, really good for little birds. This is a small size that's come in. Um, these things go right up to like extra, extra large. They're massive. Um, this has served me well <laughs> the last few years. Um, and I have to admit, my birds absolutely love this thing. Um, he is actually yelling at me right now because he's not on it, and it's just his cake Um, it's gone through a lot of washing, it's gone through a lot of, a lot of bird playing on, and, you know, whatever. Um, I love this thing. It's great if you want to hang it off, um, if you have a door that maybe folds down like this, um, and stands like this, you can hang this on the bottom, you can put this on a play chip, something I'll show you a little bit later. Um, you can even put these in the cages if they're big enough. Um, I actually have a boy in the cage, which is which I prefer um, more for inside the cage than these. Um, they're kind of like a swirly thing. They have different names. I've always heard them called boys. Some people call them spirals, what have you, whatever. Um, these are braided um, very, very tightly. And um, actually, the, the string that they use is, um, is a cotton. I think this one is superior cotton, the one that they use. And what happens is if their leg like, happens to get stuck on it, it'll actually just pull away and you don't have a, like, a rip toenail or anything silly like that. Um, so these are great. These are perfect for if you have like a little bird and you just need something where they can stay where it's not like, you know, actually extra huge. Uh, so these are always a good place to start. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you is something that actually screws onto the cage. This is called a Java Furniture. I don't know if you can see this. It's actually pretty big. Um, this I bought um, from King's Cages. Um, actually the best pet store they ordered in from them. Um, it's got a hanger bolt and a wing nut and the the uh, washer, everything that you need if you want to make sure your foot does not fall off. And these are excellent. This one doesn't have anything screwed onto it, but you can actually screw things into it. And I think you might be able to buy perches like this with screws already put into it um, for toys or for food dishes, um, what have you. You can screw this onto the side, you can screw it onto the top, you can screw it too much anywhere. Um, I actually made a base for mine so that I can sit it on the table so that if I have a bird I can just throw them on there, which is a lot easier than bringing them to the bathroom. Um, this is not the small size they come in, this is the small size, but there's also an extra small for like kitchen and buddies and what have you. Um, I'm actually planning on getting one of these, sorry I keep putting a stick in my face, um, for Goonies. Um, hopefully something that I can put on a base so that when we're out, say in the living room or outside, we can you know, not be sitting on me, because he's one of those birds that can't just sit there. He's got to play with my hair and my earrings and my glasses and my shirt and everything that he can get a hold of. So, um, this is also an option. These are great, like I said, just run the sides of the cage, on the top, um, and give your bird somewhere to go that's not just on the cage. Who do you think this is quite fun? Okay, so, um, the next one that I'm going to show you is kind of more what I think would, when I think of a gym, this is what comes to mind. Um, I bought this one, but I also made another one. Um, all you need to do is go to the hardware store, get some dowling, uh, you know, throw it all together. You can make different kinds like this. I've seen people use just about anything. This is, this is a good way to start. Now this oh, is what I have. Um, of course, you're not going to be able to see all of it until I back up way over here. Now, of course, the toys didn't come with it, but there are hooks on the top for toys. There's a big hook in, in the middle for to hang something. This is where I usually keep the orbit. This one is my homemade one. Um, this is why I don't leave this on the case. It's got a lot of frames to it. Be careful with those. Um, it's also got a ladder on the side so they can climb up. Lots of different levels, lots of spaces where they can play with. This one here, let me get back down the floor, was meant to be on the top of the case. <laughs> That one was meant to go on the top of the cage. I have mine on a, a microwave stand. It's a little bit easier because of the slightly ceiling. Really so I have one like this up here. I also have another one in the garage because 
slash feelings because I can't make them both. Everybody agrees that they're lots of fun. <laughs> you can make these for any cage. Um, the one that you can see on the other side, um, which is behind me, that's his cage. Um, and his, his cage doesn't fit this particular one. This one's 18 by 18. One of the other cages I have is fixed. And of course, once you start screaming simultaneously, this is human's problem. Okay, I think it's good to keep going now. <laughs> um, so, I would suggest to everybody to get a play gym, even if you don't have a bird that's particularly hand paint. If you have a room like something like I'm in, where they can, the door can be closed, nothing can get in, nothing can get out, um, it's great to have someone for your birds to go. Um, like I said, this is ooh, um, this is um, just an example of something you can make. Um, you can also make them bigger or taller or whatever style you like, really. Um, I've also seen people use Christmas tree stands as a base, just to start with, and then they build off of that. Um, you could also go into the bush and, go, and on a property where you know you can chop down trees, if you've asked permission, um, and get branches to make your own and to screw them together, um, which is also an, an option. You can cut down a tree, again, with permission from the person whose property you're cutting trees down off of, um, kind of like a jab perch and cut off all the, um, the extra branches. You can see on this, this side here, they cut off the, uh, the extra branches, which is an option. Um, so pretty much what I'm saying is go nuts. Anything you can think of. Um, I'm actually hoping to order in some vet wrap to make Goonie, um, similar to what Kia Orbit is, um, but big. I use hula hoops, which are great. All you have to do is buy some connectors. PVC connectors come off, cut the hula hoops and stick them in, tape them down, wrap with Z wrap, you're good to go. Um, which is much cheaper than buying the $150 over off the website. Um, the only thing I want to caution everybody is if you're going to make a bird toy or a bird stand or what have you, make sure that it's safe. Make sure your bird can't get feet stuck in anything or caught on anything or it can rip something apart that's not intended to rip apart. Keep all those things in mind. Remember that pages are a beautiful thing and will keep your birds nicely entertained, which means that they won't be crabby when you come to take them out. Um, and, you know, all that fun stuff. So I hope you guys consider a play gym for your birds. Um, if you have any questions, please drop me a line. Um, I will be happy to answer any of your questions. And please don't think that you're bothering me because I'm, you know, answering all your questions. That's what I'm here for. That's the point of all these videos. So I hope you learned something, and I hope you have fun making a play gym, because I always do, I always do.